Use the scissor tool to cut any item on your page, for example, to give a piece of material a decorative edge. To use the scissors, first select your item, in this case a piece of material. You can now select the scissor tool on the toolbar. The scissor tool has 24 different scissor types and each one can be adjusted. Select an edge you like. To make a cut, simply click and drag across your object. You will see the cut highlighted in blue. You can now choose whether to discard one part of your object or whether to keep both sections. Hover over the part you'd like to get rid of and it will be highlighted grey. Click it once to delete it. If we make another cut, we can show you how to keep both parts. Once you've made your cut, click the Select tool on the standard toolbar to turn off your scissors. Then you can pick up and part both sections. There are various ways to customise your scissor edge. The smoothness slider adjusts how smooth your line will look when you've drawn it. The higher the percentage, the smoother your line will be. If you want the line to match what you draw completely, select a low percentage. Wavelength adjusts the width of each wave for the scissor edge that you've selected. The lower the number, the more waves you will have. Amplitude adjusts the height of the waves. The higher the number, the higher the wave. There are a couple of things to bear in mind when using the scissors. If you are cutting a line freehand, you need to cut from one side of your object to the other, as if you were cutting it up for real. Imagine that if you cut the material in real life, you would need to cut across completely in order to separate the two pieces. Craft Artist works in the same way. Just cutting slightly into the material will not separate the pieces. Another quick tip is to hold down shift as you cut if you want to draw a straight line. Our final tip when using the scissor tool, or any of the tools in the program, they will stay active until you select another tool. If you have finished using the scissors, click the select tool on the standard toolbar to turn them off. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Visit our YouTube channel for more.